now, but uh, as far as you know, him being injured and, and not being able to, it was just just the way it is. But now here we are, and two, two days away. Donnelly, he doesn't think that you're going to be able to take his power too well. That you're going to go ahead and revert back to the game plan of your teammate, Clay Guida, go ahead and take him down and kind of have that sort of lay and pray style. Although that's not yeah, that's typically what you do and stuff. I, I, but he, he doesn't think you're going to lay and pray ever. So that's I mean, that's uh, my answer to that question. I never once laid and prayed. My game plan against Dia should have been taken down and do the same thing, and I didn't, you know. So uh, I have a feeling we want to stand and fight, motherfucker. Let's go. You know, that's my attitude on that. So we can that. Well, there seems to be a little gamesmanship going on between you and John as to who's going to get the fight of the night bonus. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Just go out there and fight your ass off, little Johnny. We'll see. <laughs> All right. What, what do you think presents the biggest challenge for you in this fight? Um. Really, just the pace at which Pettis can, can can keep the pace of the fight up. You know, if he can hang, and uh, you know, I trained hard. It's a fight I've wanted for a long time. So going out there and pushing the cardio and pushing the envelope is going to be the, the key to this. And uh, as far as he says, me trying to take him down, lay him for not going to happen. I'm gonna be in his face, trying to knock him out the whole time. Now, is there any way to defend the Matrix kick if he decides to run up on the cage? Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do just like the Hulk did Loki and slam his ass on his head. <laughs> nice. There are a lot of expectations for this fight. Everyone's saying, you know, when this fight was talked about, that it's gonna be the fight of the night, fighting on network TV. You know, how? Tell us about your mindset, trying to live up those to those I don't, expectations. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not gonna. Just because you say, just because you say it's gonna be fight a year, you know, I'm gonna go out there and fight my ass off, and that's just what I do. Uh, the pressure and the, the hype of a fight doesn't matter to me. Me going out there and getting a W and winning and fighting the style of that fight is an exciting style. You know, I just go in your face and non-stop. And I mean, so as far as the up the hype, man, I hope Anthony lives up to the hype. So uh, I plan on going out there and giving everything I got, saving nothing, nothing for the cage. You know, nothing for the swim home. He's gonna give it all. How close do you think you are to a title shot if you pick up this win? I mean, apparently this is the number one contender, just the top. But I mean. Who knows? I have no idea. I mean, I'd like to say next. I'd like to say one fight away. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever comes. As of, the, as of, as of the day, do you really think at all about that? Do you really care about title shots? This is about Pettis? You know, when I, oh, at the end of the day, today, yeah, this is all about Pettis. But then the, the big picture, you know, absolutely. This year is uh, the year I'm going after that title for sure. You, you've, uh, you've had the two fights with Nick Benson. If you win and if he wins in, in three months, how are you different? now than you were the first two fights against him? Uh, just just uh, maturity-wise, you know, uh, octagon maturity, I think would be the right word. I mean, just back then, I don't want to make any excuse, you know, he'd be out there and beat me, you know, and uh, that's just what it was, but just learning and lights and the UFC and all, it was just a lot to take in. Like, the first year, it was a lot to take in, and uh, here I am, kind of, so I'm saying I'm a veteran paving the road for the new guys coming. I see the new guys sitting at the table signing their first autographs, you know, it's like, oh, it's cool, I remember that. And I remember looking back and being that and feeling that, and now I can reflect all that and, and take it to another level. And now I, all, all this, all this brass and the media, you know, this all not new to me, so it's not you know, something I can, I can work through. Is that one of the reasons you did so many fights in 2011? It was kind of like jump head first in this thing and yeah, let's go, let's get it, do a bunch of them and get, get that kind of oh, yeah. nervousness around us out of the way. 